Hi, everybody. I'm Adam Met, and I'm here with two incredible people, Congressman Mike Levin and Congressman John Curtis. We are in a crazy moment because we have both Republicans and Democrats together on an issue of clean energy. It's just a really great opportunity to move our energy future forward. So where was this common ground on clean energy? We actually found it all over the country. Energy land sharing is the idea of supercharging the construction of renewable energy, like wind and solar, and putting it on top of land that was or is being used to drill for carbon-based energy, like oil and gas. Turning this into this. After months of talking to communities, energy companies, environmental groups, Democrats, and Republicans, I'm in Washington, D.C. with Congress members Curtis and Levin to talk about our bipartisan policy on co-location. Yeah, I'd maybe love just to start by talking about uh, the fact that it's been great to work with the congressman on this letter to the Department of Interior on an issue that I think uh, benefits Republicans, Democrats, my district, your district, and so many people, but so many issues that you've been working on. And uh, really pleased to be part of this with all of you. I think we all agree on the need for energy independence. And I think we've got tremendous untapped potential in our public lands. And uh, we need to find common ground. You know, this has become a, an issue that is of the utmost importance and, and we've got to fix it uh, as quickly as we can. I, I have an 11 year old and a nine year old at home. They love you, by the way. And, uh, you know, I, I really think through their lens, what is this planet going to look like? What is our air quality going to look like, our water quality? And how can we come together? And when I first got to Congress, I was told, you know, you can't really come together around environmental policy, around energy policy. But I, I think we've proved a lot of people wrong, and we have. In addition to energy independence, co-location brings a lot of value to the table. It allows us to cut through all the red tape to expand clean energy across the country. It protects lands that we're already using for parks and wildlife. It creates new jobs and helps small businesses. And it's a cleaner way to pay for local schools. And Adam, I just mentioned some of the people you referred to are in my district. <laughs> and I have uh, a lot of these sites in my district. And I see firsthand how we really haven't been very thoughtful, right, as we uh, move to a feature that's a, that's a looks different on energy and so i'm glad that we're all thinking about these people because they're they're amazing people and yeah. who f the reality is for decades and decades and decades they have sacrificed in some cases their health and their safety yeah. to make sure that we can flip the lights so this light comes on when we flip the switch so yeah, thanks for giving them a shout here right now today we are setting a new standard setting an example for something the whole world can look at in order to expand clean energy everywhere so I want to thank both of you for your leadership on this because this is a new frontier in clean energy. We have, we have right our right sock game just for this. These uh, guys, these John are Curtis from, socks. These are from John. These are awesome. <laughs> thank you. You too can have a pair of John Curtis socks. <laughs> <laughs>